CompTIA A+, Core 2, Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.6, Given a Scenario, Configure Microsoft Windows Networking Features on a Client Desktop. Shared Resources. Whether you're in a cozy small office or a sprawling enterprise, sharing resources between devices can make your life significantly easier. Imagine effortlessly accessing files from different computers or printing documents without having to transfer files manually. This convenience is achieved by efficiently connecting to file servers, mapped drives, and printers. A file server is a dedicated server that stores and manages files, allowing multiple users to access and share them. In a workgroup, a file server can be any computer that shares its files and resources with other computers in the network. This decentralized approach works well for small offices or home networks where simplicity and ease of configuration are important. Users can easily share documents, media files, and other data without needing a central server. In a domain, file servers are more sophisticated and centralized, allowing administrators to set granular permissions, ensuring that sensitive data is only accessible to authorized users. File servers in a domain environment also support more advanced features like data redundancy, backups, and remote access, making them suitable for larger organizations with complex needs. Mapped drives act as virtual shortcuts that connect to file servers and shared folders on a network. This is akin to having a local drive on your computer, but it actually points to a location on another computer or server. Mapped drives are crucial for accessing drives and folders quickly without navigating through complex network paths each time. Printers are essential in most every IT environment, and the ability to share them over a network can save time and resources. There are two primary ways to share printers, depending if they are locally connected to a device or connected directly to a network. A locally connected printer is connected directly to a computer, often through a USB cable connection. In a workgroup, this printer can be shared with other computers in the network, allowing multiple users to print without transferring files to the host computer. This setup is convenient in small office settings, where a single printer needs to serve multiple users. To share a locally attached printer, head over to Devices and Printers, located in Control Panel, and give it a click. Then right-click on the printer you want to share, and select Printer Properties. When the Printer Properties window opens, check the box next to Share this printer, and you are good to go. Network printers are connected directly to the network, making them potentially accessible to any computer within that network. In a workgroup, network printers simplify printing tasks by eliminating the need for a dedicated host computer. Users can print directly to the network printer from their own devices. In a domain, network printers are managed centrally, often through group policy. This allows administrators to deploy printers to specific users or groups, control printer access, and monitor usage. This centralized management is particularly useful in large organizations where multiple printers are deployed across different departments and locations. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.